Is there anything more manly in life than making pancakes? Think about it. They're loaded with carbs, cooked on a griddle or in a frying pan, and topped with syrup. What's not to like? They're hot, sticky, and sweet. Kind of sounds like a Def Leppard song. It's no wonder guys flip over these things. Uh-oh. I meant to do that. Not that, though. Hey guys, Robbie Sunday here with a little godly advice for living a more meaningful life. Well, we stack a lot of things in our lives, don't we? We stack poker chips and firewood and magazines and blocks and dishes and Legos. In fact, aside from like Pringles potato chips, pancakes are one of the very few foods that we actually stack. Well, one of my favorite stories in the Bible isn't about pancakes, but it's about a guy who had the odds stacked against him. His name was Gideon, and he was about to lead an army of 32,000 men to battle against 135,000 Midianites. But God stepped in and pared his army down to 300. Now that's called having the odds stacked against you. In fact, at 450 to one, those are almost impossible odds, unless of course, God is on your side. Spoiler alert. Gideon's army wins. But what about you? Have you ever been in a situation where it seems like all the odds are stacked against you? Maybe you just lost your job. Or maybe you've got a medical report that's kind of scary. Maybe you've got marriage challenges or insurmountable debt that seems almost impossible. And you find yourself saying or screaming, why God, why won't you help me? Why do we do that? Why do we almost instinctively feel like God has abandoned us? Well, one thing's for sure, he's certainly gotten our attention. In fact, theologian C.S. Lewis once said, God whispers to us in our pleasures. He speaks in our consciences, but he shouts in our pains. God uses difficult situations to build our faith. The popular Philippians 4.13 verse, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, almost appears trite when life seems impossible. But it's that less popular verse that precedes it that holds the key. It reads, I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. And of course, that secret is trusting Christ. Guys, God's not our enemy. He's our biggest ally. Stay focused on Him, and you'll be amazed at both the strength that He gives you and what he's able to accomplish through you. So yes, there is something more manly in life than making pancakes. It's learning to stay focused on God when life seems stacked against you and allowing him to grow your faith in the process. Uh-oh, I better flip this thing. Yeah, I think it's done. No big deal. We like ours crunchy, don't we, sweetie? Right, Dad. A little more water, please. Hey, if you'd like a weekly dose of humor, truth, and encouragement, go ahead and subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe box and the notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. And we will see you next time for another installment of Manly Moments.